Welcome to the example video of uh, Ideal Guess. So in the theory video, Miss Ellie has brought you through what is guesses, how we plan to describe them, whether it's uh, macroscopic, measurable or microscopic, and all the guess laws. So in this example video, we're going to focus on how to use the equation PV equal to NRT or PV is equal to NKT. All right. So let's jump straight into an example. Okay, you can find this example in page 2 of your handouts. Uh, this is also winter 14, paper for 1. So, let's go. Let go. So, A. State what is meant by an ideal guess. So, ideal guess is any guess that obeys the equation of PV over T is equal to a constant. Right? B. A storage cylinder of ideal gas have a volume of 3 times 10 to the power 94 meter cube. Okay? Gas is at a temperature of 23 degrees Celsius and a pressure of this much. Part 1. Show the amount of gas in the cylinder is 6.1 mole. So whenever we want to find the, the number of moles, right, we are going to use the ideal gas equation. You see you are given P, V, and T. So we'll use P, V is equal to NRT. By substituting pressure, volume, and temperature, making sure everybody is SI, so your temperature have to also be in SI. You move things around, or you will get N is 6.1 mole. One mark for stating the equation, one mark for correct substitution. Very easy. Part 2. The gas leaks slowly from the cylinder, okay? So that after 35 days, the pressure is reduced by 0.4%. Does that make sense? Let's think a bit. You have a gas cylinder, and then maybe some seal or some valve is not fully sealed. So there's some escape of gas particle. So you have less air particle, less collision, less collision with the walls of the container, then you will have less pressure. Okay, very nice. The temperature remains constant. This is an important point here because this tells us what gas laws to use, right? I mean, come on. Calculate the average rate in atoms per second at which the gas atoms escape the cylinder. So I think if I want to find how much atoms is like leaking out of the cylinder in one second, I need to find what's the total number of atoms that leaked out <laughs> so to speak, in 35 days, and then divide that by the number of seconds in 35 days. So I will find the number of atoms lost in 35 days. All right, so I'll use PV over T is constant. And then a lot of students will like very quickly, almost by muscle memory, put temperature as constant and then employ Boyle's law. T is constant, so you put PV, P1, V1, it's P2, V2, and then you very happily just go and take P1, oh, P1 over P2 is equal to uh, V2 over V1. But can you do this? Uh? If you're thinking there's something fishy here, you'll be right. There's something else that's not constant, which is the number of moles. So this is wrong. Okay? We need... There is the number of moles n is not constant. How do I know? Now nah, I got molecule leaking out ma. Okay, lo, so draw a line, restart again. Okay. We're gonna still use PV over T is constant. Okay. But PV over T is equal to NR. We re-identify our constants. So gas law only works for constant number of molecules. But right now in this case the temperature is constant and the volume is also constant. Miss they never say also. Same container, guys. Same cylinder will have the same volume. So from here, because um, all these things are constant, your n is, your r is constant. This is a gas constant. Your t is constant because you are being it's being told in the question. Your volume is also constant. Why? Because it's the same cylinder. So constant, constant, constant. You what you have left is pressure is proportional to the number of particles. Yay! And then ratio is my best friend. P1 over P2 will be equal to N1 over N2. So since the pressure will decrease by 0.4%, they say one, huh? like Christian. So P1 has the largest pressure, 100%. P2 has the smallest pressure, 99.6, not 96, 99.6%. Uh, and we have N1, 6.1 moles, we have already calculated. So I'm going to write the percentage into numbers. Lah, and we're looking for N2. So from here, you can press your calculator and find N2. N2 is 6.0756. It's important that you quote all the SF here because you are not at the end of your question yet. And now we are calculating the number of atoms. So every SF that you can afford at this point matters. 
Alright, if not you round this one, it looks like 6.1. So you this one you please don't put one as 2 as f. Uh. If you put 2 as f, it's 6.1. Cannot. Okay. Of course, some of you might be thinking, can I put the more accurate number of moles from part the, the part in front there? Can. Can. That one also can. But if they put 6.1, that means it's licensed for you to use 6.1. But then your final answer, you don't go and write 2 as f. Uh. Then this one will be 6.1 or so, or then what is your leak of gas don't have? So because we are detecting something that is very small, then every SF we need to maintain. For now, because this is not the final form of the answer. Your Pokemon hasn't evolved to the final form yet. Let's go. So now, we're going to find the amount of gas that has escaped, which is N1 minus N2. Change in the number of atoms per unit time, because that's what they want. So the number of moles that escape will be 6.1 minus 6.0756. Okay, but if you think about your mole concept, one mole is 6.02 times 10 to the power of 23 particles. All right, uh, if you didn't take chemistry, just recall your form 5 chemistry. No? One dozen is 12. So similarly, for the same idea, one mole is this amount of particle. And by this, I mean 6.02 times 10 to the power of 23. Divide by 35 days. Uh, we need to change to second. Uh, so times 24 hour day, 24 hours and 3600 seconds per hour. So we'll press our calculator. Okay? And you will get 4.86 times 10 to the power of 15 atoms per second. You might be thinking, wow, this number how sound very big or oh? it's very big because gas is leaking, dude. Particles. The numbers are very big. That's why your Avogadro constant, 6.02 times 10 to the power 23, is a very big number because in one mole, you have many, many, many gas particles. All right. So just to remind you what a mole concept is, one mole is equivalent to 6.02 times 10 to the power of 23. If you didn't take chemistry or your chemistry is like very rusty, I would suggest you go and refresh or talk to people to understand more about the mole concept. But anyway, where are the marks? P proportional to N is one mark. You use this proportionality relationship to calculate either the number of at final moles or how much moles are being lost. How to get this 0 0.244? You, instead of 0 0.996, you put 0 0.004. Okay, so either you get this number or you get this number and then you subtract by finding the Avogadro constant, by multiplying the Avogadro constant and dividing by the second, you get the final answer. Okay, so just here, the mole concept here would be, you know how like one dozen is 12? It's a way to describe a certain number. So one mole is this many particles, just like one dozen egg is 12 eggs. Okay, so you can use that, use that as an analogy and you ratio appropriately. I don't want to give you equations. Alright, so this is the mole concept and this is the end of the first example where we use ideal gas and there's a leakage in the cylinder but the volume remains the same. I'll see you in the next video.